Hi everyone, it's Ani Bonani. Welcome to my channel, Kamala Mgudandum Legend. On this channel, it says, Kulu Mengama Reality TV Shows. Nama celebrities kanye nama YouTubers. If it is your first time joining me today, and you think you like my content, there is a subscribe button, lang is anti, press it, and a notification bell, because it's all about you, I'm going to say, I'm going to Listen, you guys. So, Queen Ninja did do a video, was it yesterday? Uh, giving uh, her viewers an update on what's happening uh, with the ex-husband okay which is weird <laughs> because uh, why the hell are you updating your viewers about your ex-husband okay but this is YouTube okay we will do anything if it's going to get the views because when you get the views, you get the moolah, okay? That's how we make money here on YouTube. So some of the, um, sometimes you can't decide if a YouTuber is sharing a story for the sake of sharing a story or they're sharing a story because of course they know that they're going to get the views and uh, get the money. And there's nothing wrong with either of those, you know, any of those reasons, because of course here, uh, we are working here on YouTube. If there's an opportunity to make money, you are going to make money okay so uh owami of owami entertainment has two channels uh, that i know of she has owami entertainment and she also has bodily owami on uh, owami entertainment of course she does more uh entertainment news entertainment gossip she has done some story times there as well but i think that now she's shifting uh to do uh more story times on bodily owami so those are more uh, that channel is more about personal uh, stories and a lot of those stories or story times are about her being married to a guy called Hector Longwane, uh, who is her ex-husband. She refers to him as big guy. I don't know if that was uh, his, uh, her nickname for him or everybody calls him big guy, but now we all call him big guy because she calls him big guy but his name i believe is hector Longwane. so they were married for a number of few years and um uh, she has shared because this is her side of the story she has said that he was unfaithful in uh, their marriage and they did try to work on things after that uh, uh, but it didn't work out it didn't work out for her uh, she decided that she would rather leave the marriage so they did get a divorce i believe that according to home affairs they are no longer a couple okay and uh yeah and they live separately they live uh, two separate lives okay a lot of owami story times uh, after the uh, marriage had ended uh, had been about that marriage you know about what happened with their marriage about a lot of the things that she never revealed when they were married okay which makes sense i mean you don't tell people everything that happens in your marriage she's spoken about how he was when it came to handling money in their marriage how much he had and how much he didn't have money uh, the kind of job that he was doing his relationship with his mom his relationship with his dad uh, she has done story times about the mom about the dad about the cousin about everybody in that family meaning that the ex-in-laws okay so all of the story times almost all of the story times in that uh bodily owami channel is about the in-laws okay you know like uh, a lot of the times when you do uh videos about owami here on youtube you will uh, now and then you get somebody that comes on your comment section and they will say hey, this channel might as well be owami's channel because you always talk about you know owami you know uh, basically you could say the same thing about owami's channel when it comes to the uh, boldy owami channel because uh, that channel has grown a lot as a result of her speaking about the in-laws and i think that the, those are the videos that are getting a lot of views when she is doing story times about the in-laws she recently did uh, a story time about uh, the relative of the in-laws that uh, possibly had uh, or was hiv positive which i did speak about because i didn't think that that was right to do to reveal somebody's status like that and that video got a lot of views and then uh, the next one uh, the other one was uh, they visited the grandmother 
and she was suspecting that the great mother, mother might possibly be a witch or something like that and uh, that story time got a lot of views and now she was updating the viewers about a uh, big guy and what what's up with him now apparently someone had called her and uh to tell her what's happening with him you know um uh, and they told her that he is now driving a taxi from what i know big guy was supposed to be a qualified teacher uh, so i don't know what happened to his job i don't know if this is something that he is doing full time she did not explain if she left if he left his job as a teacher to do this job if he is doing this part time maybe to make extra money that is not explained uh he she just says that he is now uh, a taxi driver here's the thing about it it's clear from uh, her video that uh, she's pleased about it she's pleased about it because if you're talking about that being karma for big guy obviously you're pleased about it because she doesn't feel like she was treated right in her marriage and also she is upset about the fact that big guy did do those interviews that he did with the vault entertainment uh if you want to see those videos i believe that they are still up in uh, the vault entertainment channel uh big guy had uh, done some uh interviews with uh Ulin of the vault entertainment and she talks about how she's still upset about the things that were said on that uh, video so she does feel like him being a taxi driver is karma for him doing those things and treating her the way that he treated her during the marriage and after the marriage she talks about how she was hated by so many people because of what big guy had told people about her she said there were people that didn't even know her but hated her uh, because of uh what because of the things that uh Upikai had said about her okay it is interesting to me that she says that because basically everything every single thing that we know about big guy uh or and about the Tlongwane family is what we have heard from her i don't think of the Tlongwane family in a positive way and i don't think of big guy in a positive way and that is because of the story times that owami has told about them so the very same thing that she's upset about is the very same thing that she's doing when it comes to uh, Uhekta and his family she is upset that he would go around telling people things about her and that resulted in people looking her, at her in a certain way that resulted in people hating her there are people in the comment section that hate a big guy just as much as she hates him some people you will think that big guy is their ex in the comment section the way that they don't like him when they actually don't know the guy and they've never really heard his side of the story so in the same way that she is upset that big guy would go around telling people stories about her that made people feel a certain way about her she is doing exactly the same thing with him and his family people do not like big guy because of the stories that oami has have told uh, on her channel people don't like the Tlongwane family because of the stories we, i have never seen umam Tlongwane, but i know umam Tlongwane. i have never seen ubab Tlongwane, but i know ubab Tlongwane. i've never seen the the coco that might possibly be a witch but i know ukoko from the stories that she has told so it's very much interesting to me that she doesn't see that she's doing the exactly the exact same thing that big guy allegedly did with her and then when a big guy tried to defend himself by using the same platform that oami has used because oami has used youtube obviously uh hexa doesn't have a youtube channel he doesn't have a youtube channel to go into and defend himself so he went on somebody's channel whether he was telling the truth there or not we don't know because even when oami tells the stories we also don't know if she's telling the truth but when Hector went on the Vault Entertainment to defend himself, she got even more upset and told even more stories about him. It's very interesting to me that it is that way. But here's the thing that is different about this video because, of course, I mean, it was just one more video that she was doing about the Tlongwane family as she normally does this one was different because it wasn't necessarily a story time you know i've always believed that listen oami was in that relationship 
she was in that marriage and obviously if she has things that she experienced in that marriage i guess she has a right to, to tell that story and if she has a platform where she can make money while telling those stories of course she can do that okay and there had always been people that will come in the comment section every time i have uh, i make videos about uh, owami they will say that owami is obsessed with a big guy owami is not over her marriage owami is obsessed with her in-laws and i never felt like that until this video because this video was different for me it wasn't necessarily a story time it was an update it was like you want your viewers to just get an update on what your ex-husband is up to why why when you fought so hard to divorce this guy and get him out of your life why are you keeping tabs on him why are you keeping tabs on what's happening with his life it just didn't make sense for me it it got even more interesting towards the end of the video because she got cut i think because the battery uh, uh, ran out and then she did a voiceover uh, to complete the video but in the voiceover she mentions that she actually got emotional so when the battery went off uh, she actually got emotional in between her doing the sit down and the voiceover about the whole situation and for the first time i felt uh what people have been saying that it kind of feels like oami oh, is kind of obsessed with that relationship it does feel like she is obsessed with him she wants to know what is up with him because really if you were trying so hard to to get rid of this guy and finally you got what you wanted which was he is out of your life why are you keeping tips on what he is doing with his life you know it shouldn't matter you should be indifferent at this point about what's happening in his life okay he drives a taxi yeah who cares you know it's a job whatever he needs to do a man has to do what a man has to do isn't that the issue that you had in your marriage you know that he wasn't making uh ama efforts that he needed to make to make more money in your marriage so if he decides that he wants to drive a taxi part-time or full-time or whatever it is i feel like for me this video was the first time that i felt what people have been saying that she might possibly be just obsessed about that marriage it just feels like she is not over uh that marriage is not over what happened with them and maybe what people have been saying that she needs to see someone and get some help because she needs to just be over it maybe she does it's the first time that i feel like that i feel like maybe she does because it's too much <laughs> It's too much. What are we gonna know next? To go to a big guy, but I'm a flip flops for himself. You know what are we gonna know that he is at the salon cutting his hair? You know why do we need to be updated on what big guy is saying? At the same time, if big guy went on one of the YouTube channels here and told one story, one if he did one story time, angaz kunga vuta kunga shangishi YouTube la. You know, she will do 50 million videos upset about what Big Guy would say. And everything that Big Guy would say, she would say it's a lie. You know, I kind of feel like now it's a lot, you guys. I do not understand why you need to update your viewers on what your ex-husband ex is doing. Why do we need to know that Big Guy changed jobs? I wonder my baby. He acts in poor and half. I I feel it and I'm pale. Anyway, you guys, please tell me what you think about this in the comment section. Please like the video before Pumagiona share it with your friends, with your family, and even with strangers in Tanda Kakun.